were instituted. And the traveling prayers reduce it to 11 rakat, the, the evening and the dawn prayer, so the prayers in the twilight remain the same. So three and two. Um, and the seven more rakat were instituted at the time were Hassan and Hussein were born. Um, and 5664 talks about how if a person offers 500 optional vows of con making contact, that's another way to translate a salat, um, that one gets of what everyone wants, as long as it's not lawful. Uh, 5673 to 5689 talks about the blessed and the cursed places of worship in Kufa, uh, you know, uh, Babylon, uh, the heart of Babylon concludes that. Um, and it also talks about how shortages in this world, uh, you know, towards then, you know, in the next chapter, um, talks about shortages being a result of people not paying their zakat. And even if uh, countries as poor as pa Bangladesh, if those people paid their obligatory alms, they wouldn't be in debt to the foreigners. They wouldn't, you know, the poor would be taken care of there. I mean, literally, they've they've done the analysis. Um, fifty seven hundred and seven to fifty seven hundred and ten talks about how the things in life that are going to cause avarice, they're they're going to be dangling from you, man. Um, and how, you know, the zakatable. Uh, things in particular um and the people who uh, you know even to the point of people being cast out of the masjid that don't pay their alms um now this isn't just some universal you hear that somebody missed a zakat payment and you kick them out but um 5893 to 5899 mentions that the obligatory alms are not on the person you know, you don't pay them the people who are under your responsibility. Um, you know, ascendants, descendants, um, spouse, um, those who your right hands possess, you could say. Um, but you can use the cot towards something that will help take care of them, like well, like an animal or something. Um, 5,958... talks about how the Magians killed the prophet and 12,000 bullskins were used to write the scripture, which was destroyed. I mean, people try to... The Avesta and some other texts have been attempted to be restored. Um... But yeah, uh, people are allowed their religion. The, uh, the, the head tax, those people are allowed their religion. Um, 55, uh, I, I mean, 5,959 talks about how people, they, um, you know, people of the book, you could say, um, they're allowed certain unlawful things, the, the drugs and the unlawful animals, um, and the jizya is payable on that, but that's not received. Um, 5960 talks about how these things were not abolished. Now, there's the implication, 5960, that the jizya is not something that's just, oh, they're the different religion, jizya. Wrong. These are people who were, you know, the, the lands that were fought and conquered. And the people who receive it are the people who receive it. Um, some Sunni narrations have tried to take away inheritance rights and stuff like this, um, but then again, the you know the the zakat doesn't go to uh, Emma. It doesn't go to you know uh, any of Muhammad's descendants. Fifty nine hundred and sixty one says it's not an asset or a animal farm thing, so. Again, if they're making money, then that money becomes uh, taxable. But let us also remember 
that the jizya is not something where they humiliate the non-Muslims from the conquered people. It's also not something in regards to, uh, you know, that, that there's some sort of disgraceful ceremony or uh, disgracing ceremony like, like has been mentioned by some individuals. Um, 15707 talks about the blessing of the Ghani Masjid in Kufa, the Banu Zafar Masjid, the Al Sahla Masjid, the Al Ju'fi Masjid, but the condemned ones that were built to celebrate the slaughter of the prophet's grandson and, you know, the enmity and division of the community are Sakif, Al Ashath, and the Jarir Masajid, the Samak, the Al Kumra masjids are also not. Um, so the gray, uh, the the masjid built on Pharaoh's graves are also not to be built. Um, so narration five six seventy four talks about the Ashath, the Algerir, the Sumak, and the Shabbath Ibn Rib E Masjid that were built for that purpose. Now Pharaoh's probably not the right word, but fifty six seventy five talks about um Al Taim Masjid being one of them. And there's also talk about the Banu Al Sayyid Masjid, the Banu Abdallah Ibn Duryam Masjid, the Ghani Masjid, the Samak Masjid, the Thakif Masjid, and Ashraf Masjid. Wait, didn't I save? Oh, it's around the Ghani Masjid. That's where the problem lies. And I guess a closing point that may be something to bring up is the, the, the Book of Fatima. It's not that Fatima is said to have a different uh, religion or something like that. The Book of Fatima is where she wrote down uh, stuff about prayers and uh, legal rulings and supplications, that's that sort of thing. Um, it, and it wasn't that she was like called to be a prophet. The Imma or the Masumin, uh, uh, that sort of people, they're not, they're not claiming to be prophets. They're claiming to be directly guided by the Quran and the Sunnah.